Dynamic blocks represent a more intelligent evolution of the block entities that we all use in CAD software. The difference is that a simple block has no intelligence. At best, we can scale it, rotate it, but not much else. A dynamic block or a custom block from DraftSite has additional grips and more intelligence. We have the ability to create multiple configurations and can vary the geometry and its behavior depending on the parameters and grips that have been incorporated within that block. Take a look at this custom block that was created within DraftSite. Here are a few more examples that illustrate different cases where smart blocks can be used. In DraftSite, we can work both with the dynamic blocks created in AutoCAD and the custom blocks created in DraftSite. The truth is that the custom blocks in DraftSite work just like the dynamic blocks in AutoCAD. The only difference is that the dynamic blocks are created within AutoCAD and can be used within DraftSite, while custom blocks are created and used only within DraftSite. Now we can right-click on this dynamic block and DraftSite shows us a new option to convert this dynamic block into a custom block. Clicking OK will still allow us to edit the block, but it will be a simple block. Parametric actions that were configured before would be lost. Instead, if I choose the Convert option, the block editor opens. And now we can see that DraftSite does an excellent job of retaining all the parameters that were previously contained within the block. The block editor will give users access to the block altering tool palettes with predefined parameters, actions, and constraints. The ability to convert dynamic blocks into custom blocks makes it easier for users to convert or improve what they already have without having to restart from scratch. Let us take a look at it with this example. When we converted this dynamic block into a custom block, you can see that the visibility states are still kept intact as well as action and grip to modify the radius. Under visibility state, we can see there are three options within names, but they are written in Spanish. We can now go ahead and delete or add more states. Alternatively, we can take the opportunity to rename them in English. Now we can use the test block feature to test the modified block before returning to the drawings. Let me close the test mode and the block editor and save the changes. Now the block editor will have the same capabilities as when it was a dynamic block. But now it is a custom block of DraftSite. It should be noted, however, that unlike AutoCAD, DraftSite allows users to work with both dynamic blocks and custom blocks. In contrast, AutoCAD only supports working with dynamic blocks. If a DraftSite user creates a custom block and then that block is using AutoCAD or any other CAD software, the custom block will be treated as a simple block. It can still be viewed, printed, and even modified, but without the intelligence of a smart block. We have just touched the surface with regards to dynamic blocks. We showed you a few examples of the available functionality. Users can also add, move, array, and do more to their blocks to increase the amount of automation. That allows users to have some dynamic fun, making their blocks come alive.